I know this question is uh, difficult or pretty much impossible for you to read, so don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it out loud uh, in a minute. Because trigonometry often is packed in a word problem. Yeah, and in this particular case, I just wrote, wrote down a word problem. It says, a ladder 12 meters long is placed against a wall so that it makes an angle with the ground of 40 degrees. Will the ladder reach a window 8.5 meters high? So, if I just summarize the question again, we have a ladder, yeah, it's placed against a wall, yeah, this ladder is 12 meters long, and it makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ground. So the ladder, 12 meters long, and it makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ground. Will it reach a window yeah, in that wall which is eight and a half meters high? Okay, now I am not the smartest guy, I know that. So in order for me to understand a question like this, I just have to make a sketch of the situation. Yeah, that works for me, and trust me, it works for most people. Yeah, and often with these word problems, yeah, you have you have the ground, you have the earth, the floor, and that will be your horizontal. Let's let me let me draw that. Well, that's not very horizontal, but let's assume that's horizontal. And then we have a, a building or or a tree, or in this case, a wall. And that is your vertical, and that's the 90 degree angle you're looking for. Yeah, trigonometry, Pythagoras we need a 90 degree angle, a right angle, fantastic. And then we have this letter, and it's placed against the wall, and hopefully you know that letters usually are placed roughly like this, against the wall. Uh, if you like, you could draw the little steps, but that's actually just wasting your time. But anyway, that is your letter, yeah? And let me put in all that information now they give us in that, uh, in that word problem. They say this is 12 meters, let's move. Put a big 12 there, okay? And it makes an angle of 40 degrees with the ground. So the letter and the ground make an angle of 40 degrees. Let's put it there, okay? It starts to make sense now to me. I see this right angle triangle. Yeah, we have the hypotenuse, which is 12. We have an angle there, 40 degrees. Will the letter reach a window which is 8.5 meters high? So, this basically is our question mark, the wall, the height of the wall. Let's find out how high it is, and then we can answer with yes or no, basically. Is this more than eight and a half meters or less? Well, let's find out. It's trigonometry, and uh, we cannot use Pythagoras because we don't have this length, but trigonometry is excellent. Toa, ka, so, uh, let's just write that down. If I stand in my angle, let's have a look. We are talking about the opposite, and we are talking about the hypotenuse. The opposite of the hypotenuse, that will be the sine. You see how I slow down and calmly decide which ratio to use. Yeah, you don't want to make an unnecessary mistake there, yeah? because you can do it, you can do it, okay? So make sure you do it. The sign, opposite hypotenuse, that's it. The sign, let's write things down now, of 40 degrees. And really, you don't need a calculator to write things down. Eh? You don't need a calculator, just a pen and your thoughts. Sign of 40 degrees equals the opposite divided hypotenuse. That's my question mark. So we put a little x there over the hypotenuse, and that's 12. Okay, rearrange the formula. Yeah, we don't like fractions. Yeah, multiply both sides by the denominator to get rid of that fraction. Okay, multiply by 12. So we get 12 times the sine of 40 degrees, which equals x. Yeah, so x equals, all right, I put my pens down, now I grab my calculator. You see, I don't need it before. If I read the word problem with a calculator in my hand, how can I draw this picture? Yeah, I probably feel lost. I probably tell myself I can't do it. Yeah, we don't need a calculator. We draw a sketch and we see what to do. We do it 
and in the end we have a calculator to tell us what the sine of 40 is equals yeah times 12 equals and then we can write that down it says 7.71345 and it continues let's do that quickly to three significant figures 7.71 and if the question would be well how high will the letter reach up to the wall then your answer would be well 7.71 meters high yeah because we are talking about meters that was the unit but that's not the question. The question is, will the letter reach a window 8.5 meters high? So the answer is no, it will not for the letter will only reach 7.71 meters high. Yeah, and we can put an arrow there to show everybody where we got that 7.71 meters from. All right, you see, word problems, trigonometry, Pythagoras, read, draw, write, calculate. Come see, come see. Now, have fun.